Hey, it's Norm from Test Hit. I'm inside a Tesla S. It's a car I really want, really, really bad. And check this out. This is the dash and the control panel. It's all digital. Um, I'm here with Camille, and she works for Tesla, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about how this works. It's actually running NVIDIA Tier 2 chips, two of them, one for each screen on the inside. Um, so kind of like your smartphone, except completely different, because it's in a car. So explain to me how, how does this work. Okay, so this is the 17-inch digital dashboard in the Tesla Model S, and it is the biggest touchscreen of any car of its kind. Um, and it's everything that you would automatically assume would be on a dashboard, you know, your media, your navigation, it's all baked in right here, so I'll walk you through it a little bit. Um, here on top you have your media center, and it's not only AM, FM radio anymore, or even just internet streaming radio, it's actually all of your devices too. How is it connected to the internet? Um, it's connected to the internet via 3G, and there's hotspots in the side mirrors. Oh, okay. So it's actually pretty quick on the pickup as far as the internet's concerned. Um, and this syncs to your device via Bluetooth and USB, so you have your full music library at your fingertips. Uh, in addition to that, we have navigation, and that'll include turn-by-turn -turn driving directions that'll not only show up here, but also on your instrument cluster so you keep your eyes on the road. So over to 3G, it's downloading the maps in real time. Exactly. Do you have a local storage of maps as well? We don't have a local storage. Um, it's all over the 3G. You can search, though, and it's actually pretty snappy. Is there multi-touch to zoom in? There is multi-touch. Okay. You can pinch to expand, pinch to zoom in. Energy, of course, is a major concern for the electric mm -hmm. car driver. Here you can see in real time how energy is flowing through your car, how your battery is performing, even how much energy is being regenerated when you brake. Um, a lot of our customers are very geeky, like this kind of thing. Yeah, so min-max and, and optimize your energy usage. Absolutely. And then, of course, you have full browser capabilities, and this is all custom built by our software team. Do you know what it's based on? Is it a WebKit browser? or? It's not a WebKit browser. You know, I don't know the specifics. I know that the screen itself is Linux based and that we built most of this software from the ground up. Are there uh, tools in place to prevent the driver from browsing the web when they're driving? So, or how does that work? So we actually are leaning toward or erring toward the idea that drivers should have as many choices, as many options as possible. We think people can use their common sense and aren't going to get into collisions because they're browsing. I have no common sense. Twitter, <laughs> non-stop refresh, this is going to be amazing. So hopefully that, that won't happen. And we also want people to be able to tell their passenger, you know, find the nearest movie theater. We don't want to right. lock them out while the car is in motion. So that's, that's the situation for now. If regulations pop up, we'll comply. Sure. And that's but best done through web browser. Are you part with other services like for Yelp or um... we're not yet I'll show you we have an app library here and right now it's empty but we will be releasing the SDK uh, and we hope that a lot of people come up with some creative applications to optimize charging optimize traffic routing that kind of thing yeah because I could Who imagine knows? like a you know a movie theater or a Yelp style app and it'll tie directly into your map service exactly we really think that automotive is the newest app platform you know it's already been crazy for TV for phones mm -hmm. Cars are next. And so media, music only, or can you also play video on here? It's just music for now. We think the video probably would be stepping over that line of mm -hmm. distraction, um, but who knows what, what's coming in the future. And of course, all of the, you have the regular standard controls on the bottom. Exactly. You have climate here where it's really yeah. intuitive. You almost don't even need to look at it in order to turn the air on. And then a backup camera that's not enabled now, but to help with the parallel parking. Um, and then perhaps our most popular touchscreen feature here has been the ability to drag and drop the sunroof here oh open to whatever width you want it. And then of course the door locks, popping the front and rear trunks, and then the lights as well. Yeah, I noticed there are five spaces in this car, but also two seats in There's the back. There's two jump seats in the back. I don't know, I wouldn't put two friends in the back of the Model Unless S. Unless your friends were under the age of 10 or under 100 pounds, I wouldn't recommend yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, what about that dash? Um, so this is a digital instrument panel. It's very rare, actually, for the automotive industry, but we decided to go for it. Um, not only does it show your media selection and your turn-by-turn -turn driving directions, um, but also how much charge you have left in terms of miles to go, your speedometer, and then also watt hours per mile so you can keep track of how you're using that energy. Um, and really, we think that the advantage of having both of these panels being digital is that they're instantly updatable. We can actually do it over the wireless connection. We don't even need to send somebody to your house. So it's a firm for firmware updates and exactly. new features and It's apps all stuff. over the internet. And that way, we can keep both of these screens fresh throughout the lifetime of the car. For bug fixes. I, don't, I wouldn't want a blue screen on this. 
exactly. and have to reboot in the middle of the freeway. And now uh, you said it's uh, over cellular. Is that it's a 3G or a 4G? LTE? It's 3G, but it will be 4G as soon as 4G is stable enough for these purposes. Have you guys announced any um, providers? Carrier? We haven't yet. Okay. That's coming. And this car is available for uh, pre-order or? It's that, available for reservations right now. Okay. We've already taken 7,000, so get your reservation in. Yeah. And Good thing we'll, I'm in Vegas. <laughs> exactly. And uh, we'll be delivering the first cars this summer, so look forward to seeing them on the road as soon as July. Great present for 1% norm. All right, thank you so much. Uh, this car looks amazing, and this panel looks amazing. Um, and as the door from Tesla, we'll have more videos from CES. Uh, stay tuned at Tesla.com. Bye.